We meet again, Doctor. But, but how are you here? How did you escape? Do not worry yourself with the details of my escape, Doctor. Just worry about your grisly demise. Oh, really? Really. Then again, at last to the head from this pistol wouldn't exactly result in the agonizing death I envisioned for you. How did you escape from Galfrey? My dear doctor, what do you take me for, an idiot? I obviously had a TARDIS with me. I should have known. What are you doing here? What has happened to these people? What have you done? You're a scientist, Doctor, aren't you? Work it out for yourself. You're draining them? But what for? You haven't noticed what's been happening in the city, haven't you, Doctor? Murder? Rape? Molestation? You're responsible. But this... that doesn't explain this. Seeing as the city's population have left the places of work in search of violence, they have no income. What would you do with your income, Doctor? Oh, food? You're making these bodies food? Yes, Doctor. Good job. I've heightened their epinephrine levels. Consumption of these bodies results in extreme rage. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? What are you getting out of this? A great deal of enjoyment, Doctor. Oh, obviously. Oh, yes. You haven't met my dear friend Lawrence, have you? He'd love to meet you. Oh, would he now? Oh, yes. That looks like someone you'd be friends with. Lawrence, I'd like you to take this man here to the butcher. Oh, do remember you haven't drugged me up yet. Oh, no. You won't just be food, Doctor. Oh? I wonder if you'll regenerate after you've been cut up into little chunks. Oh, another experiment, is it? Ah, yes. I do like a good science project. Wouldn't you agree, Doctor? Well, I would, uh, but preferably I'd like one that doesn't involve me or anyone else being diced up. Uh, perhaps you'll change your mind. Unlikely. Lawrence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. I do believe that some spring cleaning is in order, don't you? Then again. My opinion is purely subjective. This is BMRF Radio with a special news bulletin. Violence in Manchester has reached its peak tonight. Angry mobs roam the streets, they're burning buildings, looting, murder, rape. Authorities are preparing for the violence to begin to spread into neighbouring towns and cities. 
Sheffield and Liverpool have been placed into lockdown, and it's likely Bradford and Leeds will soon follow. Oh dear. This sudden outburst of violent behaviour seems to be a type of epidemic. The WHO have not issued any statement on the matter, however. Now to Jane with the weather. This is it. The master's master plan. He's fighting fire with fire. Leave. Well, yes, if you would be so kind as to point me in the direction of the nearest exit. Oh, dear. Please, freeze. Ah, the surgery room. At least I know where I'm going now. Now, if I were a pompous megalomaniac with a scary skeletor face, where would I hide my TARDIS? Something not too out of place, but just enough for you to pay a bit more attention to it. Hmm, that looks about right. It seems like I'm in the belly of the beast. Oh, hello? Anybody home? Yes. Ah. Robot, is he? Yes, you are correct. I may be too weak to leave the TARDIS, but my mind has never been stronger. Well, you've got what you wanted. Pandemonium, panic in the streets. But I'm not sure how you plan to keep this virus spreading, considering you won't be supplying them with that meat you were altering. You're right, Doctor. When dawn comes, the violence will end. It cannot be spread in anything other than the meat. Then why do it? Some sort of pleasure your arousal concerning violence continues to puzzle me. Uh, yes, Doctor. As much as I enjoy senseless violence, it is not as simple. Elaborate. Take a step outside. Since you entered here, I've taken us forward four hours. We're at daybreak now. What's out there, Master? You'll see, Doctor. Go on. No! 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 